happening transfer of heat so what do you mean by transfer of heat see carefully heat energy always flow from the body at higher temperature to the body at lower temperature whenever any body is there at the higher temperature so this heat will move from higher temperature to that of lower temperature see carefully i am having here spoon whenever i am heating the spoon at this part so at this part temperature is higher so this heat move from higher temperature to that of lower temperature means now this heat is going to flow from this part to this part clear and whenever this heat comes to this part we can feel also we will take the spoon and we will take it back so here you can see that heat always move from higher temperature to that of lower temperature so this transfer of heat can takes place by three modes so what are that three modes first we are having conduction second we are having convection third we are having radiation conduction takes place in solids convection takes place in liquids as well as in gases and radiation takes place in that process in that way in which there is no material medium or in which there is no particles of any substance clear so one by one we are going to discuss about conduction convection and radiation so here we are having firstly with the conduction so what do you mean by conduction see carefully so actually in a conduction what is happening see carefully in a conduction first of all we have to take a solid whenever we are taking solid and whenever we are taking that solid near to the heat so this heat energy will transfer to the very near particles whatsoever are there kept near the flame so that particles will take the heat energy from the candle burning candle these particles start vibrating about their fixed position whenever these particles start vibrating while taking the heat from the flame these vibration or these heat energy they will transfer to next particles the next particles also start vibrating about their mean position then these particle transfer the heat to next particles then these to next particles and these to next particles means this first layer of the particles by transferring the heat to the end of the particle so here heat will move from higher temperature to the lower temperature but without any actual movement of particles here actually particles are not changing their position moving from one point to another point they are just vibrating about their mean position and they are just transferring the energy from one layer to the another layer so here you can say that in a conduction conduction is a process of transfer of heat from hotter body to the colder end of the body in a solid but without any actual movement in the material medium particles clear the process of conduction so in regard to the conduction we are having two here main definitions conductors of heat and insulators of heat might be you are knowing this definition of conductors of heat and insulator see carefully first definition we are having conductors materials which allow the heat to pass through them materials which allow the heat to pass through them are known as conductors of heat for example iron copper brass these all are the conductors of heat in a similar manner we are having insulators of heat materials which do not allow heat energy to pass through them for example wood paper glass these materials do not allow heat to pass through them so these are known as bad conductor or you can say into insulators of heat so now we will see the applications of good and bad conductor of heat so whenever good or bad conductor of heat is there or good conductor of heat is there actually good conductor of heat is also working according to the conduction only means first of all it is giving the energy to the particles that particles will transfer the heat without any actual movement to the last particles and full fledged solid is going to heat up so here we are going to see the applications of good and bad conductor firstly we are having very first application which we are using in our daily life that is cooking utensils are made up of metals and handles are made up of wood or plastic actually whatsoever material we have to cook that we are cooking in the cooking utensils and these cooking utensils are made up of metal why they are made up of metal because metals are good conductor of heat so whenever we are keeping the metals on a fire or we are giving heat to the metals so metals will absorb the heat into it while absorbing the heat whatsoever food is there present inside this cooking utensil that can cook very properly but yes if you want to take this cooking utensil and you want to put somewhere else so what you will use we cannot use use these part na because these parts are now hot so we are using the handle of the cooking utensil because the handle is made up of either wood or plastic as you know wood or plastic is a bad conductor of heat bad conductor of heat means it do not allow the heat of the pan to enter on on our hand and we can pick up easily and kept anywhere else okay so next application of good and bad conductor we are having copper is used as making cooling coils of air conditioners and refrigerators in air conditioners and refrigerators these kind of cooling coils are there 
these cooling coils are made up of copper why copper because copper is a good conductor of heat which allow the heat to pass through them and will remain or make the air conditioners or the refrigerator to remain cool okay third application we are having woolen cloths in winter we are wearing woolen cloths in winter why we are only wearing woolen cloths not the cotton cloths in winter see carefully actually in a woolen cloths here some pores are there some kind of pores are there and whenever air from the outside come to these pores air is going to trap into these pores and might be you are knowing that air is a bad conductor of heat so whenever heat particles trapped into the woolen cloth air does not allow our body heat to come outside so we can feel warm while wearing the woolen cloths that is why we are wearing the woolen cloths in winter next application we are having a newly laid quilt is warmer as compared to old one whatsoever new blanket we are having no that new blankets are more warmer as compared to old one why because newly laid quilt is having more air spaces between them if it is having more air spaces between them means it can trap more air to it more air means air is a bad conductor of heat which do not allow our body heat to come outside means newly laid quilt will keep us warm fifth application we are having two thin blankets two thin blankets are warmer as compared to taking the one single thick woolen blanket why actually whenever we are taking two thin blankets no in between these two blankets air is trapped and when air is trapped air being a bad conductor of heat do not allow our body heat to go outside that is why we are feeling more warmer whenever we are taking two thin blankets together as compared to thick woolen blanket okay next application we are having an ice box is double walled metallic box these ice cubes are double walled metallic box because the space between the wall is filled with glass wool and glass wool whatsoever glass wool is there that glass wool is a insulator of heat we do not allow the outside heat to come inside and do not allow the cooling this cooling of the ice to go outside that is why whatsoever like soft drinks are there or ice cubes are there that will remain cool into the ice box next application of heat we are having we always use hand gloves in order to take the hotter dish particles or hotter dish from the oven whenever we are taking our hands toward the oven oven is very much hot okay so we use hand gloves because hand gloves are poor conductor of heat which do not allow the heat to come into our body and we will not feel heat from these hand gloves okay next application we are having roofs of some houses are made up of asbestos sheet or clay tiles actually some roofs are made up of asbestos sheet this kind of asbestos sheet or clay tiles because asbestos sheets are bad conductor of heat which do not allow outside heat to come inside the house and whatsoever person is there inside the house that may not feel that much hot in a summer days next application we are having eskimos make their houses called igloo out of snow whatsoever eskimos are there which are living on the snow on the area of the snow so that eskimos are making the igloos and they are living inside the igloos why they are making with the snow this kind of igloos because snow is having large amount of air trapped in between the pores so as we know air is a bad conductor of heat which do not allow the inside heat to come outside or do not allow the cold breeze to come inside next application we are having birds often puff of their feathers in winter actually whenever winters are coming birds always puff of their body means they are going to swell like this why they are swelling like this because in while swelling they are trapping too much amount of air into it and whenever they are trapping air into it air being a bad conductor of heat do not allow their body heat to go outside so they may feel warm in the winter that is why they are puffing up their feathers next application of good conductor and bad conductor of heat we are having mercury is used as a thermometric liquid so as we have already discussed that why we are using mercury only as a thermometric fluid because mercury is a good conductor of heat which can expand easily while taking the heat so that is why we are using mercury as a thermometric fluid now we are going to start with the second mode of transfer of heat that is convection firstly we have discussed about conduction that can takes place only in solids but now we will see about the convection so what do you mean by convection convection is also a part of transfer of heat only means in convection also there is a transfer of heat from hotter end to the colder end of a liquid in this case we are using the liquid as in conduction we are using solid but in convection we are using the liquid only but with actual movement of particles 
as you see that in the conduction there is no actual movement of particle just particles are transferring the energy from one particle to another and heat can transfer from hotter body to the colder body but it is not like this case of convection actually what is happening in the case of convection see carefully how the convection takes place in liquid for example here we are having a beaker and in the beaker we filled it with a liquid okay so in a liquid as we know particles are like this means particles are away from each other so when these particles which are very near to the flame that particles will take the heat from the flame while taking the heat from the flame the particles will become hot and particles start moving upside when the particles will start moving upside they will send these colder particles downside when the colder particles come near the flame that colder particles will also become hotter now and while taking the heat that hotter particles also move upside like this way all hotter particles will move up colder particles will move down and one kind of convection current sets up in the liquid due to this convection current full amount of liquid is going to heat up okay so this is a process how the particles will move itself from one place to the another place and transfer the heat energy from hotter end to the colder end okay so now see the definition carefully convection is the process of transfer of heat from hotter end to the colder end of a liquid but with actual movement of the particles of liquid next we are having applications related to convection so where we are going to see this kind of convection in our daily life first application we are having moderate temperature in the coastal areas so what do you know what do you mean by coastal areas coastal area means those areas where land is very near to the sea okay you can say goa you can say mumbai that goa or mumbai or that coastal areas are very moderate temperature moderate temperature means in that areas not too much hot is there or not too much cold is there in between temperature is there always why moderate temperature is there in the coastal areas it is all because of convection see carefully how so during day time what is there during day time sun is there in that atmosphere okay so that sun is giving the radiations to each and every object so this sunlight is moving to each and every object na when the sunlight moves toward the land whatsoever particles are present on the land while taking the heat from sun these particles will become lighter while taking heat na each and every particle will become lighter and they it start moving upside so while taking the heat of while taking the heat of sun the land particles will also start moving upside okay and these lighter particles or these hotter particles will move from higher temperature to lower temperature and where is the lower temperature lower temperature is toward the sea so these hotter particles will send these cooler particles toward the land so when these cooler particles will go toward the land again from the sunlight these colder particle will become hot again it will move up again it will go toward sea again it will send the sea particles toward the land like this way convection current sets up in the coastal area so whenever there is a convection current set up in that way each and every time there is a moderate temperature because cool breeze is always moving around this okay so due to cool breeze there is a moderate temperature in the coastal areas and this process in which during day the sun is giving the heat to the land particles and land particles while taking the heat by taking the heat from the sun moves upside and move toward the sea and it will send the cold particle from sea toward the land this process is known as sea breeze clear during daytime sea breeze is there and same reciprocal we are having for night also actually in the night no sun is there in the night moon is there so whenever during the day whatsoever hot particles will move toward the sea till the night time whatsoever particles are there present inside the sea now that particles will become very hot now sea is warmer now land is cooler because why land is cooler because till night whatsoever hotter particles are there that gets up and move toward the sea what is happening in the night see carefully so warmer particles from the sea warmer particles being lighter will move up and it will move and go towards the lower temperature from higher temperature particles move till towards the lower temperature and in the lower temperature land land particles will then again move to the sea particles like this also there is a it forms a convection current so means here we can see that warmer air from the sea will move towards the colder air of air of the land then these warmer air will push the colder air from the land to move towards sea and like this convection current setups and like this way moderate temperature is there at the night also during day also moderate temperature is there similarly during night also moderate temperature is there and during night whatsoever there is a movement of particles or convection current setup that is known as land breeze during day it is known as sea breeze and during night is known as land breeze next application of convection we are having ventilation in the houses 
in each and every houses might be you have seen that some exhaust fan are there or some windows are there why we are just using the exhaust fan or windows in order to move or in order to send whatsoever air particles or whatsoever carbon dioxide is present in our house we want to make it go outside and we want the fresh air from the outside to come inside that is why we are just giving the windows or we are giving the exhaust fan to the houses okay so houses are always provided with ventilation so this ventilation process is also based on principle of convection current how it based on principle of convection current see carefully for example this is your school okay and so many students are sitting in the school so students are taking oxygen from the out from the atmosphere and giving out carbon dioxide to the atmosphere so many students are giving carbon dioxide to the atmosphere okay so too much carbon dioxide is now in the school and if there is no ventilation system then because of carbon dioxide we will we will feel suffocation na? that is why we are using some kind of ventilation because carbon dioxide being lighter will move away from the school and whatsoever fresh air is there from the ventilation that fresh air will come inside the school that is why we are using the ventilation process in the houses as well as in any buildings okay so in a similar manner of ventilation we are having the third application of convection that is use of chimneys actually in a big factories smoke and hot gases are lighter because they are lighter they will rise up one path should be there na, from where they, the smoke particles will move up and that path is the chimneys from the chimneys it is moving upside and escape out from the factories Next application related to convection we are having air conditioner and air coolers are always fitted at higher position ACs whatever whatsoever we are using in our houses that ACs are always fitted at some higher position why because whenever they are giving the cold breeze downside so what this cold breeze is doing this cold breeze is pushing the hotter particles from the room towards upside and that hotter particles will move toward the AC then again this hotter particle by taking the cool from the AC it will become cool and then it will move downside again hotter particles will move offside like this convection current setup so like this convection current it ensures the more effective cooling in the room very quickly next application of convection we are having room heaters are placed at or near the floors means or on the floor we are placing the room heaters or we are placing very near to the floor why because whenever whatsoever air particles are present in this room that air particles when go towards the room heater due to the heat of room heater the particles will also get the heat and while taking the heat the particles will become lighter and when they become lighter they start moving upside and while they move upside they will send the cooler particles to go downside and when these cooler particles will come near the room heater then again this cooler particle will become hot and again it will move up like this way full room is going to become hot due to the room heater next application we are having the freezers of refrigerator are fitted at the top of the refrigerator why because when they are fitted at the top of the refrigerator it ensure the easy circulation of cold air downwards and hot air will move upside like this way convection current setup and the full refrigerator is become cold now we are going to start with the third mode of transfer of heat that mode of transfer of heat is known as radiation so in conduction we have studied there is a transfer of heat from hotter body to the colder body in solids and without any actual movement of particles in convection we have studied that there is a transfer of heat from hotter body to the colder body with actual movement of particles like in liquids but in radiation in radiation also there is a transfer of heat from hotter body to the colder body but here there is a no need of material medium actually it is not going to heat up the space in between it without the space only without the air particles only it will transfer the heat so the process in which the transfer of heat takes place from hotter body to the colder body without heating the space in between them is known as radiation the example for this is the sun actually what so sun radiations are coming towards the earth as we know in the earth okay air particles are there but sun is not in the earth sun is out of the earth out of the earth is where here for example earth is there and here for example sun is there okay so whenever this heat radiation from the sun have to come inside this earth in between the earth and the sun there is a vacuum created because in between no air particles are there air particles are only there inside the earth okay in between no air particles are there na? but still light radiation or heat radiation comes from the sun and move towards the earth so how this heat radiation or how this heat move from the sun to the earth without any 
material medium due to the radiation okay so in radiation there is a no need of material medium without material medium also in the vacuum also the heat radiation or heat can move from hotter body to the colder body okay this we are having example related to conduction convection as well as radiation for example here we are having a burning fire and when we will take the like any conductor towards the burning fire this conductor firstly take the heat towards this point after some process due to conduction we will also feel hot at this colder part also this is a process of conduction similar manner we are having the convection also whatsoever air particles are present in this region that at air particles will take up the heat from the sun or that air particles will take take up the heat from the fire and while taking the heat from the fire the air particles will become hot and it will give us the heat this is a convection but in the radiation whenever we no air particle is there here for example vacuum is there in a vacuum also the we are feeling hot whenever we are standing near the fire because in this way no conduction no convection is there in this way radiation is there okay so next topic we are having absorption and reflection of thermal radiation actually black bodies are good absorber also of heat plus black bodies are good radiator of heat also see carefully how black bodies are the bodies which absorb more and more heat from the surrounding okay black bodies absorb more heat but instead if we are talking about white bodies white bodies are good reflector of heat whenever on the white bodies heat are coming from the outside the white bodies reflect back heat very easily they do not allow the heat to go inside our body but yes if we are wearing a black colored cloths black colors or black colored cloths will absorb more and more heat into our body and we feel very hot due to the black color okay so black colors are good absorber of heat as well as black bodies are good radiator of heat also radiator of heat means whatsoever hot bodies are there na that hot bodies are always always giving out the heat radiations they are always sending the heat radiations out similar manner we are having for the black bodies also black bodies are also acting like a good radiator radiator means they are passing or they are radiating or giving the heat out to the environment very easily but instead if you are talking about the white bodies white bodies are very poor radiator of heat poor radiator of heat means it will just reflect back the heat it will not take out our heat or not take out the heat radiations and reflect it in the outside so that is why black bodies are good radiator and white bodies are poor radiator of heat first application of radiation we are having the bottom of the cooking utensil is painted black might be you have ever observed in the kitchen that whatsoever cooking utensils we are using in the kitchen that cooking utensil base is always painted black why it is painted black as i already told firstly that black bodies are very good absorber of heat good absorber of heat means whenever we are putting the utensils on a fire or on a heat the black bodies are absorbing more and more heat from that fire absorbing more and more heat means the cooking of the food will takes place very easily that is why the base of the cooking utensils are painted black but yes the sides of the cooking utensils are painted sparkly bright why they are painted bright because whatsoever heat is present inside the like pan that heat cannot emit outside from the black color because black color is a good emitter also so the heat do not emit outside means we have to cook the food properly so that is why it is painted sparkling brightly why because whatsoever heat is present inside the pan that heat will reflect back into the pan only and the food will cook easily okay having second application related to radiation second application we are having the radiators of automobile and air conditioner are painted black the radiators of air conditioner or the car why it is painted black because as we know black is a good emitter of heat or you can say good radiator of heat as black is a good radiator of heat so whatsoever heat is generated into the car engine that heat it will collect and it will give outside to the surrounding so that our car parts engine will not get heated up due to the friction and all okay that is why we are using here black color so that it can emit whatsoever heat is present inside the car it can emit outside so the black color okay third application we are having pipes of solar cooker and containers of solar cooker are painted black always pipes of solar cooker are also painted black from outside why because as we know solar cookers are working on the basis of sunlight and if they are absorbing more and more sunlight in that case only solar cooker will work properly no so black color will what help us black color will help to absorb more and more sun radiation into it and whatsoever thing is there inside the solar cooker that can cook properly okay 
नेक्स्ट एप्लीकेशन वी आर हैविंग फायर मैन वेयर शाइनी ब्रास कैप वाई दे आर वेयरिंग शाइनी ब्रास कैप शाइनी मीन्स वट सो एवर हीट रेडिएशन आर गोइंग और कमिंग टूवर्ड्स देयर हेड दैट हीट रेडिएशन विल रिफ्लेक्ट बैक ड्यू टू द शाइनी सर्फेस ऑफ द कैप शाइनी सर्फेस और लाइट कलर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट विल ऑलवेज रिफ्लेक्ट बैक द हीट रेडिएशन एज द कैप इज शाइनी सो इट विल रिफ्लेक्ट बैक द वट सो एवर सनलाइट इज कमिंग ऑन देयर हेड इट विल रिफ्लेक्ट बैक सो दैट देयर हेड कैन मेनटेन एट कूल ओके नेक्स्ट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रेडिएशन वी आर हैविंग सैंड इज अ गुड एब्जॉर्वर एज वेल एज गुड रिफ्लेक्टर ऑफ हीट माइट बी यू हैव सीन इन राजस्थान अबाउट द सैंड दैट ड्यूरिंग डे टाइम सैंड इज वेरी मच हॉट वाई इट इज वेरी मच हॉट बिकॉज सैंड ड्यूरिंग डे टाइम इट इज एक्टिंग लाइक अ गुड एब्जॉर्बर ऑफ हीट ड्यूरिंग डे टाइम एज सन इज देयर ड्यू टू सन इट इज एब्जॉर्बिंग मोर एंड मोर हीट इन इन साइड इट सेल्फ ओके एंड वेन एवर इट इज एब्जॉर्बिंग मोर एंड मोर हीट बींग अ गुड एब्जॉर्बर ऑफ हीट it is becoming more and more hot during the day time but actually in the night time what is happening actually in the night time this same sand is acting like a good emitter whatsoever total heat it absorbed during the day time now it is a time to act like a good emitter and sand is emitting the heat trapped inside and giving out to the environment that is why at night it fully become the cool okay next application of radiation we are having a cloudy night is much warmer as compared to clear night why actually what is happening there in a cloudy night clouds are there in the atmosphere okay so whatsoever heat is there on the earth surface that heat when it goes toward the clouds as clouds being a good reflector of heat because clouds are light colored no so it will reflect back the heat to the earth surface only so when it reflect heat the back to the earth surface only so it will allow the earth to become more and more warm means it do not allow the heat to go upside to into the space it do not allow it just reflect back the heat into the earth surface and that is why earth surface is becoming more and more warmer next we are having thermos flask so what do you mean by thermos flask see carefully actually whatsoever bottle we are using in our daily life which keeps the hot liquid hot and cold liquid cold for few minutes or few hours that bottles are known as thermos flask and thermos flask is invented by sir james dever in 1890 and by his name dever it is also known as dever flask clear actually this thermos flask is a double walled container made up of thin glass this thermos flask is a double walled container made up of thin glass and the outer surface of the inner wall and the inner surface of the outer wall they both are silvered polished this wall is also silver polished this wall is also silvered polished why it is silver polished see carefully for example inside hot liquid is there fine and this heat can move or come towards this also na so if it is silver polished silver can reflect back the heat into the liquid only and this heat will go back into the liquid and liquid do not lose its heat plus these both walls are having vacuum also means from this wall air is taken out means we are take, making it the vacuum why we are making it vacuum if for example heat is coming out from this liquid that heat will not move from vacuum by the conduction or convection because in conduction and convection we have to use the particles or medium in between them if there is no air particles no medium will be there means by conduction or convection this heat particle will cannot come outside or by radiation if it comes outside then there is a silver polish silver polish can reflect back the heat into the liquid it will remain hot only and plus here we are having the opening also whatsoever opening is there of the bottle that opening is also evacuated evacuate or you can sealed properly sealed sealed why because whatsoever heat can move from this way it cannot move because here tap is sealed properly clear and now this flask whatsoever flask is there in between the thermos flask that flask is a contained in a metal or a plastic case here outside we are having either metal or plastic case and inside we kept a flask okay and this flask is retained or spotted at this pads so that it cannot the heat cannot move from these pads also downside clear and mouth is also sealed downside is also sealed here also no radiation no conduction can takes place that is why whatsoever hot material or cold material is there it can remain cold or hot for the few minutes or few hours okay This is all about your chapter number 5th class 7th physics ICSC that is heat if you like the explanation please like it share it and subscribe our youtube channel thank you so much